I'm excited about these new digital presenters in Canva. They're an easy way for anyone to get started with AI video. All you have to do is upload a photo or mid-journey character, type in whatever you want to have it say, and now you've got a talking AI video that you can share on your favorite social media channels like TikTok and Instagram, or even on the boring ones like LinkedIn. One cool thing is how you can use the videos as design elements in Canva. One bummer is that you only get a limited amount of free credits, so here's how to make the most of them. In Canva, go to Apps, DID AI Presenters, and now you're ready to start. These default presenters look pretty generic and corporate, and if you add them to a Canva design, they'll have this background, which isn't super helpful. You can always bring the videos into other designs to jazz them up a bit, but we want a portrait mode video and we want it to take up the full screen without boxes. We want it to be seamless. Let's head over to Midjourney. Midjourney will let us create a portrait by typing in our prompt and then adding this, AR916. Or you could do AR11 for square videos. I like doing nine by 16 because it's easy to crop a portrait video into a square video. But once we have one we like, we're gonna upscale it, download it, and upload it to Canva DID. Now the fun part, let's type out what we want our presenter to say. We'll choose the language we wanna use and a voice that goes with the presenter, and then we publish. Each time you publish, it uses credits. Here it says generate presenter one credit. When I've published, it seems to take more than one credit per video, so it may be based on word count or length. So if you're gonna play around, use the preview audio button and save those free credits for your final creation. One thing I found out is that the face rendering has a little more trouble with avatars like this one with a steampunk hat. So keep that in mind if you're using Midjourney or tools like that. All right, this is all ready to go to TikTok or if I decide I wanna customize it in Canva, I still can. This is all cool, but it's also scary. I would hate to be a principal at a middle school right now. We are canceling school until further notice. This could be used as sort of a deep fake light, like a diet deep fake. All of the fakeness with fewer calories. Wait, does this mean I could script out a conversation between two people and edit it in Canva? It absolutely does. I bet there will be a tutorial on how to do that soon. I bet there will. Let's, Let's subscribe. subscribe.